When I was a kid, there was few farm in between for carnivals. I know I always had one every year, uh, but to be able to bring that back to a small town meant a lot to us. I'm Joe Stoller, police chief here in La Harp. I've been here a little over two and a half years. I've been involved with the La Harp Day Committee for just about two years. Every year we have an annual celebration, parade. Uh, last year we had a carnival. Just a time for the community to come together one day and enjoy being together and good food, good fun. La Harp is roughly 400 people and sometimes we have double that here for us, for our celebrations. It's all over Allen County and even further than Allen County. Some of the challenges were uh, obviously funds is always a problem for every, every group. Uh, manpower, getting volunteers to come help us. Uh, the events. And, uh, on top of the events of that particular day, we also do fundraisers all year long uh, to include uh, cornhole tournaments, craft fairs. So those are the monthly events we do to make money, but we also bring the community together for, for fun as well. This year we had a carnival inside the baseball field. We had food vendors, uh, craft vendors selling their items. Oh, they had kids games, bingo, um, miniature pony pool going on. People came from Garnett and Ottawa. So uh, they're coming this way now. The La Harp Day is made up of 10 to 15 volunteers. And some of them uh, are fellow city workers as well. Um, they always come together usually once a month for a meeting. And then we decide what we're gonna do for the month, what fundraiser we're gonna do. And our end goal is to have a great La Harp Days every year. In July of 2000, the school district received a 21st Century Community Learning Center grant for $2.1 million for three years, and that is what started Safe Base. We had seven sites. Uh, we did before school, after school, evening, summer, Saturday school, a little bit of everything. And then um, it slowly morphed into the same base that we know today. So we serve students K through sixth grade during the school year, and then we have a summer program that serves K through eighth grade students. We, I believe now, are the oldest, if, if not the second oldest, um, program in the state of our kind. My name is Angela Henry, and I am the director of Safe Base. I have been for 24 years. The Blue Plate Special uh, allows us to get parents into the building and see firsthand what the kids are learning, what they're doing. Every Blue Plate Special, they get to pick out a book. So we're building a mini library at their home. The public library is offering them applications so we get the library cards. And we're really just kind of coming around, um, surrounding the family and supporting them in their students' academic success. We have a much bigger impact even outside of our community and sharing best practices with other programs. Things such as like taking the students on these large camping trips to Colorado, Mount Rushmore, Devil's Tower, Wyoming, St. Louis, diamond mining in Arkansas, camping in the Wichita Zoo, all of those things are very extraordinary compared to other programs. I appreciate the community's continued support Really, it's our county, not just our community, um, especially the district and the Board of Education members. And it's allowed us to do these things that I believe our students and families would not otherwise have those opportunities. I'm Josh Works. I grew up in Humboldt. Yeah, and I'm Jessa Works. The first year or two that we did it, I, I think we were pretty excited that it had become somewhat of a homecoming for people, like an, an exciting reason to come back to Humboldt to be a part of. Um, but now I think that even that has grown and it's become more of something for people out of towners that have no idea, that have no link to Humboldt whatsoever. To come participate in too, so that's really exciting to watch. Water Wars was an event that the uh, local volunteer fire department put on in the 1980s as like a fundraising event for um, so that they could buy a Jaws of Life, but uh, it ended after six or seven years and so um, when we moved back to town I just had like we a... talked about it all the time <laughs> when we first met. It's just all such the a... Time. So we said yeah if we moved back we would 
do what we could to make it happen and bring it back. It is an event where uh, that appeals to people of all ages, kids and uh, parents and grandparents, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a, f a free a event. Free There's nothing that we charge for. And it takes a lot of people to put it on. Like every little event has to have multiple people involved, and so. Um, Damaris uh, on a Boulder Humboldt has been like instrumental in, in recruiting uh, the on. army of volunteers to put it on every year and that's, that's um, it, it's fun for them as well so it's, it's great to see. There's nothing like seeing um, the adults that get that <laughs> turn into children <laughs> just running around and, and acting like they're 10 years old. It's great.